if you get your um, motor running in the right way, the best thing to do is uh, put a fuel chip right on it. Hey, uh, Jason, let's do part two um, since you had time to get your camera and get it up to um, your computer. Let's go over and take a view of what you had uh, happening over in Harley-Davidson the other day. Yeah, so we went up um, to Harley-Davidson here in Bill Rickamas, and uh, our intention was to check the horsepower uh, as well as the torque and the emissions on um, two Harley-Davidson. So we started with the one you're seeing on the screen here, and this is a brand new 2015 Harley-Davidson. It has a catalytic converter on it. Uh, it has zero miles on it, so it's brand new. And um, we stuck it on a dyno, and um, I'll show you the picture of that. So we put it on this dyno, which is epic, and um, we we're able to touch the emissions. And so I'm going to start with with the 2015. Now the other bike we tested was a 2011, um, and that has some uh, 3,000 miles on it, and um, it has no emissions equipment. So you can we'll be able to see the difference on that. So first, let's start with the new. HG with zero miles, and what we saw here, this is the emissions to start. So I'm gonna show you a little video. So this is what it, we were running at. You can see the hydrocarbon there, it's about 600, 553, 500, um, really high. Um, and this is with emissions equipment on there, so. Um, it goes down over time here as it warms up a little bit, and um, but nowhere near where it can be. So what I'd like to do now is show you uh, we where we were at. Turn After your volume uh, uh, down on your video. Okay. Um, there you go. So, so we have, um, so you can see we're at about 235 there, 236. Um, we normalized there. And so now let me just show you after five minutes of putting the technology on there, what that looked like. And that is... See here, we got lots of videos going. Um, is here we go right here. So we're down to forty-seven, and this was in within five minutes. Um, so hydrocarbons are down to forty-five, and um, so a dramatic reduction there. And this is that full throttle, so. Um, and you can see that we're going down to six, five. Wow. Almost at zero. That's full throttle. And it's ebbing and flowing there, but as you can see, it's it's um it's down a pretty low level. So he's doing a first power test there, and I'd like to show you the results of that. Um, next, let's check out that. Um, let's see here. Somewhere. Oh, there we are. Back over here. Here's our horsepower tests. Um, the first one, um, as you can see here. Let's see here. I'm sure, let's go full screen. Um, so we have two different groups of data here. Um, the bottom one is your horsepower, and the top group of data is your torque. And there's four different tests. So on the bottom, um, what we saw, actually let me get the results here. Um, we saw a 8% increase in horsepower um, and a 6% increase in torque. Um, you can see the uh, max horsepower um, before the technology was about 68. And then we brought it up to... Um, um, 67, and then uh, we brought it up to about 73, um, which again, about a 8% increase in horsepower. That's 8% um, out of the air. Just <laughs> nothing um, mechanical changed, nothing at all. Was no, no tools were touched to the bike. Nothing was applied to the bike except our technology coming in within 10 inches of the bike. Yeah, yeah, and literally within five minutes, we put the we put the technology on, rolled it back up onto the the um, dyno, and um, started running it for about three minutes, four minutes, and then we did the test, and this is what it came out. So um, the top set of lines you see there are your torque, and we see we saw an average of about 
um, 83 or four there, and we brought it up to 89 um, for the torque. So about a 6% increase in torque, um, again, out of the air, the slender said. Out of the air. I mean, it's okay. Now my engine is stronger, <laughs> okay? It seems to have more horsepower and now can pull more because you guys are standing here. And what's amazing is at the same time as increasing horsepower, as you can tell, the vibration is different. And it's hard to tell from that video, but um, the vibration is lower. It's just a smoother running engine um, after putting the technology up. Uh, that's um, real good stuff right there. They always are. So I'd like <laughs> um, to show you what the 2011 looked like. And it was pretty similar um, in results, but I'm going to show you uh, the video from the original. And so we got that here. You know, uh, I, I was noticing too yesterday when you were um, testing on that, uh, that semi up there uh, also how the driver was mentioning to you how his engine was, was, was just running good. Uh, for Harley Davidson owners, that, that sound <laughs> is uh, gospel. Um, yeah, this, this really does fire that engine better. So this is a 2011 uh, Harley Davidson, and it's got 3,000 miles. This thing has no emissions equipment on it. Right. So the levels are a bit higher. And um, here's a photo of it. Here. The video of that for the baseline. Um, this was to start here. I'll Jason. Make sure. Jace? Yes. My physical therapist, Tina, she has a Harley. And we sent her a text message about two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. And she said she's just been going crazy with her Harley with that. She's been having so much fun. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah, it's amazing that um, literally you put, you get a text message, you put the phone in your pocket, and, and it, the frequencies radiate your fuel in your tank, and you're off. off. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Your cell phone's in your pocket anyway. So, I mean, why not stop the pollution between the A to, a to B? Absolutely. This is our baseline for our 2011. Yeah. Yeah, Jace, uh, you know, I think uh, a little, a little, uh, a little drone with a good camera there is going to make um, all the difference in our in our videoing. Um, so I think I think we'll just yeah we'll have drones going out there from now on videotaping. That'd be a lot of fun. Yeah. So the next absolutely the next is um I just wanted to show you guys what the the sticker looks like here. Uh, we didn't permanently place it on. This is the 2015 with with um, no miles, but that's the hologram sticker that you put on your tank. And all you would do is stick that on there. We put it on there temporary with a piece of tape, but all right. that's all you have to do. Um, and you can see, you can see that. Um, the next, I wanted to show you the horsepower, which is the same, but it's just good to see the data for sure. that. Um, let's see here. Here we go. Um, okay, here it is. Here's our 2011 on the right-hand side here, and. Um, Again, you have the horsepower on the bottom and torque on the top. And here we saw an increase in horsepower of 8.5% on the 2011. And we only saw a 2% increase in torque, but um, a little variability there, more than we saw before on, the other, on the other bike, but um, still dramatic increases in both horsepower and torque. So pretty amazing. They were stoked with the dealership. They've seen lots of products come through the dealership and um, performance-wise and making claims and nothing have they seen that has done this in such a short period of time with no work. I mean, you're just sticking a, a sticker on your bike and, um, it's, you know, it's safe. It's totally, um, works with all the other equipment on every bike and every fuel type. And, um, amazing. the proof is here. It is amazing. <laughs> Thanks, Linda. <laughs> awesome. Uh, thanks. Uh, thanks again. Uh, Jason for reporting on um, the debriefing here in the sandbox is always fun. Um, and as always, thank Harley Davidson for us. Right. 
Thanks. Thanks, Harley Davidson. Thank you. Uh, for putting out a lifestyle, you know, and, and that's really what we, um, what we're also about. We're a lifestyle to people, to environmaniacs. <laughs> uh, hey, uh, here's a quick, uh, oh, kill your uh, screen if you could real quick. And uh, this is, I'll sign this off um, today. Jason, I love really good restaurants, but I just would be so disappointed if he went into, look, he's like, look, he's taken over the world. He's got a Harley Davidson and his company. Yeah, restaurant business or this. Champion. I, I think you made the right choice, Jason. My goodness, uh, he's set the world so, right? on fire. He's all over the place. What would we do without you, Jason? Uh, this is a uh, this is an ending here that I'll end off. Uh, if you haven't already seen, um, I built the uh, platform now for our Helidium Direct, and this is a uh, a sneak peek that you can see delivering our Direct um, age extension process by correctly hydrating the telomeres. Uh, and feeding that information to the DNA uh, directly uh, through uh, our intrinsic information that we store uh, into our code. So um, again, uh, thanks again, Jason. This is uh, part two for uh, those that are about training, uh, doing due diligence. I'm Thunder with Palladium Labs. Thank you.